So let's actually talk about another threat to the national parks right now, which in some cases is people and how much we love these parks. Um, visitation at many of the national parks is very high right now. Um, and some people would say too high. I mean, we recently saw in the news some photographs of uh, four hour long sort of backups of cars trying to get into Yellowstone National Park. A number of the big national parks are now experimenting with timed entry systems. Um, and there are some visitors who are, are frustrated by this. At the same time, of course, part of your mission in the Park Service is to protect fragile ecosystems and these habitats for wildlife. So how do you weigh those competing pressures of uh, public access and protecting these wild places? And um, I mean, what do you think needs to change into the future about the way public access uh, works in these parks? Well, first and foremost, I want to continue to encourage my fellow Americans and our foreign visitors to come out and enjoy our national parks. And remember, while there are 63 national parks, we have 424 total national parks, memorials and monuments, national heritage areas. And so we have a diversity of opportunities for people to come out and enjoy the outdoors. We also have urban settings for people to come and see uh, and learn about their history. But the most important part, and it's essential, is your trip planning, especially to our well-known parks making sure that you uh, look at nps.gov, you download our app and provide details of what to see and do, where to find food and lodging and reservations if necessary. But as we say, you should uh, plan like a ranger. In other words, make sure that your trip is planned out very well in advance and you understand what we're, we're doing there. We have some of the best social scientists in, in the United States who are working on our visitor use management plans across the entire national park system. And we understand that we want folks to come in and have the most enjoyable time that they can in the park, while also continuing to preserve our history and protect both flora and fauna. That being said, we also want the American people to be cognizant and to learn from that and to plan appropriately. Our top eight most visited parks receive 25% of all of our visitation in, in the system. And so we understand why people want to go to those top places like Yellowstone and Yosemite um, and Grand Tetons and others, the Grand Canyon. But in doing so, when we have that congestion, is looking at the time frame for the entire year and the years and the portions in which the park is open to our plan accordingly. We're also trying to make sure and update our app, our app as we use it so that eventually we'll be able to help people look at congestion and traffic both in at the park and in and around the area so they can better plan their time in the park. Caring for parks is a shared responsibility. National Park Service is responsible for stewarding these lands and we ask our visitors to respect and protect those areas for public enjoyment today so that future generations, seven generations from now, will also be able to enjoy the parks. In 2021, more than 297 million people have come to our parks. 20.5 billion in gateway communities was contributed into those parks. So we understand we have the economic uh, engines that we are around with our community. And all we're asking is for the American people to really be cognizant and good visitors in the park system. 